working with Inventor, the rib tool is one of those, uh, those features that allow you to create solid objects without having a closed profile. So something like a surface, but it's still a, a solid uh, solid profile or solid uh, feature. So um, in this over here, I'm going to show you how to use the rib command. I'm going to do a couple of different examples. So the first one I'm going to do is this uh, component over there. It's going to go delete this. Okay, so um, I've, you can see over here, I've just drawn a sketch. Uh, it's an open profile over there. Uh, let's turn this uh, sketch off, the visibility of the sketch off, the sketch off. And I'm going to go to the rib command, which is found on your create panel. Now, selecting that, it gives you the option to select a profile. So I'm going to select just this line over here. Okay. And selecting the line over here, you can see there, it doesn't actually show you anything. So I'm going to select the finite um, option, and you'll see there, it now gives an option for a finite. And I can change the thickness. So maybe make this two. You'll see there, it goes two. The vertical direction and if i change this to two it will then go thick or um you know sort of left and right now you can either say it needs to go both ways okay so if we just take a look at it from this side over here okay we'll see there i can flip okay so it's actually uh it's now flipping on the uh, in this axis over there so it's either up it's down over there see or both ways over there um if i try and extend it the other way you'll see there it's extended into the profile of that surface over there. Now, if I try the opposite uh, parallel to sketch plane, you'll see there it now, if I look at it from the top, okay, it now goes both ways, um, you know, between those two, two ribs over there, okay. And uh, if I just turn it around over here, you'll see there if I choose the to next option, um, it will then go and fill in the gap below that and then you get a rib over there now once that's done then you can just obviously go and select it and then rotate it uh, to strengthen up that cylinder over there okay now what you'll have noticed there i'm in, I'm in the part and i'm sort of part modeling um I, I actually what i should have done is um in my rib i should have made this a new body so if you haven't looked at uh, you know working in multi-bodies um it is something that's that's good so uh the solid over there and then over here when you do select it you say like right i need to go and create it and it must be create new bodies so it creates uh, additional bodies over there so you can see their bodies are six okay so you've got your additional bodies lying over there oops <laughs> i seem to select more than i i should have okay so i don't really want to you know i don't really need that anymore i'm just going to go and delete it by moving the end of part up and uh, the other way to create um, a a rib is to maybe do a couple of lines and uh, and then be able to, to run from um, corner to corner. So with this over here, I'm just going to close up the shell. And uh, I'm going to see I was removing faces. Uh, hold down control. It puts that face back there. And I'm going to go and create a new sketch just below the top face over here. And I've started, I've said, you know, start sketch. What I do is I hold down my left mouse button here and I just drag down. So what it does, it now is creating a, a work plane um, below and then also going to start the sketch in it as well. So let it go, minus six, great. And it automatically starts the sketch there for you. So you don't have to go to the work plane command, create the work plane, and then additionally go to start sketch and then select the work plane over there. So now let's go take a look at just creating some lines over here. Okay, and I want to just flip this around and let's go create a line. So there we go. So I'm just going to go draw some lines. I'm just going to draw some free lines. I'm just pressing escape, space bar, escape, space bar, um, just to, to do this quickly. I don't really want it parallel or anything like that. Okay, so this is a quick, easy way to, to get some, some geometry going over here. Okay, so once we're done with this, Sorry about that. Let's just go rotate it around. Once we're done with this over here, I can go back to my uh, rib command. And a nice thing about uh, Inventor now is you can actually box select this or window cross select it. Okay, previous, in, in previous releases, I think about three or four or five, depending, um, you know, if you are not working on the latest, um, you had to go and individually select each of those over there. And there you can see that it will now go and put a rib and it goes all the way to the bottom. Now, um, you'll see that we've also got the draft and boss, okay? So, I'll make my draft angle 5. You'll notice there that it now drafts this over here. So, there we can see it's got a 5-degree draft, 2.5. 
and it's got a 2.5 degree boss over there. Uh, sorry, draft over there. Okay, so now what we can do and hold the thickness at the top or hold the thickness at the bottom. Okay, so you'll see that it's okay. It actually can't hold the thickness at the bottom to uh, satisfy the two and a half uh, degree angle. Now, with the boss, okay, you're going to need an additional piece of software over here. So, I mean, uh, software of <laughs> additional piece in your sketch, and this would be your uh your your sketch point so what i'm going to do over here is going to go create two so we can just see i want okay let's make one two it's going to make it three and four okay so now with that sketch point over there when i go back to my rib i can now go and select that sketch center now let's say select all so you'll see that it selects those four over there and now what we can do is we can go have an additional boss of this. You can see it actually is popping out over there. We can say, right, I want a two millimeters above, sorry, two millimeters diameter. Uh, the offset, okay, so maybe make it three millimeters. Okay, that's the offset. And then the draft angle, let's make it three. Okay, so with that draft angle being three, okay, so it, it's not actually coming up over there. Let's make the draft angle a bit bigger, seven degrees. Okay, that's too big five okay there we go so you can see there it's created some nice supports for the structure that i've i've created over here so very quickly very easily in the rib functionality you're able to get all those extra sort of add-ons in one go thank you very much for watching